What's up everybody, before this video starts, I just want to let you know that I have my brand new merchandise store that just dropped. Here is one of the t-shirts that we got right here. Looks absolutely awesome and a sweet design on the back. Shop.ruffelsofficial.com. Go check it out everybody. If you guys want this before Christmas, definitely order before December 21st and you will receive it then. Thanks everyone, enjoy the video. What is going on everybody? The update is officially here. The brand new winter update looks absolutely awesome. It is so insane. I love this update already and I haven't even checked out everything. All right, we got the winter map update. Winter is finally here. It looks awesome. They have the brand new DOT F250, which is awesome. You can get the standard with the arrow board and the snow plow with there. And then the snow plow, obviously the same thing. Keep the streets safe by plowing the snow on the roads using the snow plow package on the DOT's F250. You can ensure other drivers have a safe experience. They got some new lighting updates, which is awesome. I, lo I, I love that. I love that so much. And they improved the guns. So they rebuilt it from the ground up. Absolutely awesome. And then the civilian flashlight. So right now we are in the game. I'm getting a phone call. All right. What we're going to do, everybody, is we're going to head over to the tool store. And we're going to check out the brand new flashlight and the map at the same time, everybody. So here we are. Look how awesome this map is. Looks so beautiful. All right. So beautiful. Now for the snow pallets or snow patches on the... On the road. They don't seem to do too much to your vehicle. Um, which is interesting. Alright, and the, the, the map looks awesome. And the snow... It's weird. They use a different... A weird system for the snow. But I love the... I love the um, things here. They're reflecting off the ground with the lights and stuff like that. And off the walls. That seems pretty awesome. Yeah, there's something weird with the snow. The snow doesn't do anything to your actual character um, in the game. Um, and the snow, as you can see, it's kind of like only generates the weather around your character. As you can see, if you look real far out, I'm wondering if I'd do like this. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to experiment with it more in a few. But here we are at the tool store with the brand new lights right here. All right, let's check it out and see what's going on. Oh, I'm like lagging. Uh oh. Alright, let's check it out, everybody. See what's going on with the brand new flashlight. For $500, you can shine light in the darkest corners. Awesome, awesome. Let's check it out, everybody. Looks super cool. They also added a battery on it. Alright, you can just click to turn it on and off. We're gonna head over to the cave and see how well it lights it up there. And also, everybody, in the map, it is awesome. Look how beautiful this looks. Look how beautiful this looks. And then it looks like they added something up there as well. Uh, let's go check that out. All right, looks like they added something up there in the park. I, I don't know what that is. We're going to take a closer look at it. Oh, it's like a cone thing. Is it like a... What is this it looks like? Whoa, it's like a pipe system or something. Okay, could this lead to future updates? I don't know. It possibly could. I don't know what this means, but it's pretty freaking awesome. So let's check out the cave uh, with the flashlight there. All right, everybody, we are here in the cave and we have our flashlight. It seems pretty dark in here. All right, the flashlight seems to be pretty bright to it. Like, actually, it's really good, I thought. I think it's really good. I like the way it kind of shines off the walls instead of just like a line of old Roblox's uh, lighting updates. That is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I wish there was a little more light reflecting off the ground, though. But then again, I think it's still awesome. And the battery life seems to be, I mean, pretty decent. You know, it's not too bad with the battery light life. And uh, looks awesome. Looks absolutely awesome. I love the new lighting update. That looks sick. All right, that looks awesome. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and check out the next new features of this update. Alright everyone, here we are with the brand new snow plows on the DOT team. We got the Ford F-250 utility right here. We're gonna check it out. We got the stand we got the standard mode here. We got the arrow board, and then we got the snow plow. Pretty insane. Look at the snow plow, look how beautiful that is. We're gonna check that out. Let's go ahead and spawn the vehicle. Let's see how we run the controls and everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Interesting. Interesting. It's like glitched for me for some reason. Uh, it's like weird. Can I switch the direction? Okay. 
Yeah, I can switch the direction of it. Oh, okay, I gotta put the thing down. That's kind of confusing. All right, so you put the snowplow down, and then it's limited to your speed there. The animation with that is super cool. Check that out, everybody. And then you can turn it to the left there. Now, if I turn it to the left, will it move it? Oh, it just, like, kind of dissipates it. That's pretty cool, though. All right, and then your speed is obviously limited to 25 there. I wish they would have added, like, big heavy trucks. Like the, like with salt trucks on them, um, with snow plows. That would have been super awesome, but nevertheless, I still love this update. The cars look absolutely awesome. I love the animation with the snow plow. Looks awesome, dude, there. And, um, we're checking it out here. And, I mean, I feel like the max on 25 is a pretty good thing to do. And then you could really do some cool role plays by really having, like, a line of snow plows. Which would be super awesome. Alright, and then if I go over here... Does it kind of like screw up the vehicle a little bit on off-road? Not really. No, it's pretty stable for the most part. All right. Yeah, it's pretty. It looks awesome. I love it. All right. That's pretty cool. And then one more thing that I want to do here is obviously you can see you can switch them, which is cool. And then at nighttime, we're going to go ahead and switch it to nighttime and see how that looks. Okay. We're going to switch it to nighttime and see how that looks because that's interesting. Because if you can see, there's like lights on the very front right here. We're going to see what those lights look like at nighttime. Alright, so we're checking it out here. Alright, so we're just going to set it back to 24 there. And this is what the map also looks like at nighttime. It's almost like a blue, a blue sky. Like a really clear blue sky. It looks awesome. And then if you turn your lights off here, you obviously still have the extra lights here um, on front. And then uh, that looks pretty cool too at night. That looks sick. Alright, I'm just going to like... That looks awesome, dude. That looks sweet. Absolutely sweet. And then what we also want to do is we want to head over to the police team. We're going to check out these new lighting features. Okay, we're going to check out... The, whoops. The game, like, just ooched for me. We're going to check out the new lighting features here. And we're going to see uh, what the new vehicles look like. And obviously, they did update the mini-map as well, along with the new map uh, update there, which is cool as well. And then we're going to check out the slick top of the Mustang right here. And then I love the, the, I don't know, I just feel like the map seems a lot more bright. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But you guys can kind of tell what I mean here. Alright, like look how just bright and cool the map looks. That looks sweet. It looks absolutely awesome. And I love it. Alright, I love the lampposts too. And I love how the, how the actual map just looks Christmassy with like all the, all the decorations there and all that stuff. Looks awesome, dude. I love that. That looks awesome. And then there's a, a lonely tow truck there. Okay. Uh-oh, I gotta move my car or it'll be despawned. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the brand new uh, lights on this. I'm at max graphics right now. Yo! Okay. That is sick. That is awesome. Yo! I'm going to go ahead and switch over the lights to red and blue, and we're going to see what that looks like. Alright, so we're just going to switch over the regular red and blue here. Respawn me. Not role-playing as a kick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to switch over and see if we can get the red and blue lights here. See what those look like. Okay. I love that. I love that, how it reflects off the walls. That is sick, dude. The red... Dude. This looks awesome. Looks absolutely insane here. All right, look how awesome this looks. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. I love that so much. I think that looks so much better from what it previously looked. It's definitely going to increase the graphics in the game, which is awesome. I love that so much. And then I believe that is everything. Oh, the improved gun system. How could I forget? Okay, we're going to head over to the civilian team. We're going to check out the brand new gun system that they have implemented here. All right, looks awesome. So they said they completely rebuilt it from the start here. And we're going to check it out. All right, I'm going to have a quick drink from Chick-fil-A. Everyone, comment below what your favorite drink from Chick-fil-A is. This is Dr. Pepper. Awesome, dude. So we're going to go ahead and head over to the gun store. Oh, whoa. You can't even tell that big bump's there. All right, yeah, we're going to head over to the tool store, everybody. And we're going to check it out. Looks like there's a fire truck stuck over there. That's kind of a rip. Or there might be a crime scene over there. That's neat. And then we're going to head over here, check out the gun store here. 
All right, so we're just gonna buy the machine gun. Okay, here we go. Interesting, the gun gunshots look a little better. All right, the accuracy looks different. I don't know. It looks pretty much the same from what I can tell, but maybe a few things different with that. The guns look a lot more realistic and shiny. That's for sure. Oh, that dude's like dead. And I kind of like this new one. I, I, I definitely would prefer this over the over the last one. But anyways, guys, let me know your your opinion on the update. All right. My opinion is it's awesome. I love every bit of it. Uh, I think they did a great job this update. And um, let me know what you guys think about this update in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed any part of the video, definitely drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button, everyone. And also, there's a brand new update for Southwest coming out tomorrow, December 18th, 2020. I'll be making an update review for that, so turn on post notifications if you don't want to miss that, everybody. And as always, stay safe, everyone. I'll catch you all later. Peace out, everybody.